see a picture now so I believe we can start uh, my name is Vladimir A.K. Bobik and today I'm gonna represent you well it's 8 o'clock in the evening in GMT time zone and like midnight uh, right now and today I'm going to show you what I got uh, on a peaceful part of uh, Life is Fiatal game uh, first of all uh, Again, I should warn you that it's so-called nightly build and it's even pre-alpha stage, so everything can happen wrong <laughs> at any time. And if you see me, uh, and if you see that translation is interrupted, so just wait for a few minutes and I will reconnect. So uh, we're gonna start uh, well from the overall look itself. Uh, oh, let's start from character itself uh, pretty much uh, the same you can wear different stuff uh, items and such uh, and uh, well let's get to the crafting part and while, while I'm going to show you some crafting part I'm going to show you some interface principles uh, and the rest so I made some cozy place already Half built uh, tunnel and uh, just some kind of base with different stuff. Oh, it's just rocks. And it doesn't enter. It's not interesting. So first of all, let's start from interface. Uh, well, it might be the same uh, in like in most of MMORPGs, and it's quite customizable. Customizable. Let's call it so. So we can press a certain hotkey and uh, customize the interface. Just drag everything, or make uh, some screens locked or unlocked. And uh, the same way you can open skill book. Don't be afraid, but it's all skills. And uh, just drag something uh, like uh, abilities on your hotbar. Uh, so you will be able to use them quite fast enough. Uh, well, first of all, abilities is actually to draw a weapon, you'd be surprised, yes. Just some attack animations. Someone said they, they look a bit not that good, but well, we are improving on the way and still uh, yeah, about uh, that some else, uh, don't be, uh, well, another point, uh, I'm kind of in GM mode, uh, and uh, some things uh, might be a bit faster, or some things might look uh, a bit more detailed that you will see in uh, your real life, in, in real game. For right now you can see uh, distance and that some else is really not necessary, just for you know, game master, just to more precise uh, measurements. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, we are talking about attacks. For, for those who were talking about uh, first person view, well, you can see at least uh, some parts of your weapon and actually attacks, and well, you can see your legs. But uh, it's well, let's do not start uh, Holy Wars right now about first person view versus third person view. Okay, now let's get to the crafting part. So, you can do pretty much everything in our game uh, that you can imagine in uh, medieval life. So, I'm not going to start from making uh, primitive tools. It just, well, you, you just get to the trees open context menu and say like you snap a branch and once you get it you can find a flintstone and combine them into pr primitive eggs so that will take more time for you to chop something let's skip that part and let's get to the trees passion right away okay it's cut down auto pumps you see a tree had fallen, it's just an animation, you can see a stump uh, left behind uh, which you will actually have to uh, uproot if you want uh, that uh, cell to be used for buildings or terraforming. So if you just go uh, a logging frenzy and uh, deforest uh, 
the forests, everything around you, you will have to uproot everything after that if you want to build something useful. Uh, okay, uh, well, now you can uh, now we can take that log and move it closer to our base. Uh, amount of wood uh, in every log uh, depends on type of the tree, age of the tree, and actually quality of the tree. Let's place that log back. Uh, okay, uh, and so amount of uh, builds, boards, or building logs. Yes, it's. Uh, I can see it's a game master. That's why it's so fast. Uh, you can see that actions are going so fast. Uh, let's turn off game master, and let's saw out a board with mini game. That's where a mini game concept starts. So I just playing that mini game, pressing buttons. This is crazy. Just to so out the board as soon as possible before time out to recharge. But uh, actually, we are not forced to uh, to do that so, like every time. You can also uh, select auto draft uh, option, and so uh, it's just, it's just gonna see a progress bar that will be repeated uh, constantly. Oh, 29 percent. Well, really not a problem. So, okay, something. Uh -huh. Well, now we can see that some. Uh, oh, yeah, it was just uh, some kind of lag. Okay, so I have received uh, a hardwood board uh, that I will be able to use later. Um, for instance, I can just simply use it as a fuel. Maybe not the uh, best way of uh, using, but why not? Uh, well, let's uh, forge. Uh, uh, right now I'm gonna create a new. Uh, now I'm just gonna light it out, uh, heat it up, and place some iron ore inside it so it's gonna uh, melt. Maybe I'm just not gonna. Oh, by the way, as you can see, we are using Twitch TV AP, uh, which, uh, well, you, if we're gonna release our game, you will be able to use it right away, just pressing F11 and uh, you will be able to stream your Let's Plays uh, games uh, right away. Well, some cozy fire, <laughs> and we'll stand in the middle of nowhere, it's okay. <laughs> um, now let's get to the building. Uh, let's construct something. Oh, yeah, we are really missing a chair. It's most important. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. A chair. So, uh, construction looks pretty much the same. You might see in uh, Heaven and Hearth, uh, and maybe in some other games. So, you start the construction site, uh, then you see what kind of uh, items you need. I'm just gonna add them or not I'm just gonna abuse my game skills once more because it's gonna be a long way to add them and I got poof I think it is complete well, uh, well you cannot sit on it yet but well you can move it somewhere so we can maybe sit some day later uh, near the fire Yeah. Uh, well, what else should I build now? Let's build a small house for me. Mm -hmm. hmm, small wooden house and gonna look n nice in pine forest. So, uh, as you can see, we you can to make any free rotation and. Uh, move uh, that object. Well, uh, when the uh, game will be released, so in order to build something, uh, you can see yellow um, cells that are colored. They should be flattened. Uh, for most of the buildings, you must have a flat uh, land. Uh, 
Okay, I will. Uh, I can see some feedback that I should uh, talk louder, and I will. Uh, thank you for that feedback. Uh, okay, uh, now you can free rotate it and move it, and just press build. You can see the same in complete state uh, that you can open, see what you need, free door models, window models, some ropes, some metal sheets, building clocks, a lot of building clocks. Uh, so I will actually have to deforest all those pines in order to build that uh, house, but I won't do that right now. I'm just gonna abuse my game, uh, game master skills once more. So there's the house as it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, Doors are not all working right now, so and just flying in and out in camera mode. Uh, well, uh, let's by the way take a look. Oh, or uh, is not heating yet? Oh yeah, I need. Yeah, now uh, now it's heated up again because I'm game master mode. Uh, let me equip equip um, smelting tools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't need this one anymore. So I have equipped the smel smelting tools and I can melt. Um, wait a second. So I can uh, melt some iron ingots. Just progress bar, which uh, is after repeating as you can see because I pressed auto craft option. So I'm gonna use up all my iron ore uh, to get those iron ingots. That can be used later. I believe we had run out of ore. Yeah, all ore is exhausted. And well, stop burning. Yeah. Uh, well, now let's get to the terraforming part. I believe some of you must be excited about it. Uh, again, uh, since I will be in game master mode, uh, things gonna be quite faster, and it's gonna take a few hits for me uh, to do actually something. Well, uh, and in real life game, you will have to make a lot of repetitions. Maybe not that much, but still way more. Uh, oh, cookies! By the way, may, you might wonder uh, what that uh, yellow bar. It's actually a hunger bar. Uh, it's health, stamina, double bars, and a hunger bar. Just if you, uh, if we were talking about uh, interface, let's start doing something. Is it okay? Dig it down. Uh, so we just dig some uh, one cell. Let's continue that. Okay. Oh, by the way, you can see uh, that that was rock. Uh, when I was uh, digging it, I got received rock uh, in my inventory. Uh, in real life, you will have to empty your inventory because you can see I already overburdened. Uh, well, just pouring it on the ground, and you can see gravel appeared here. And well, uh, as soon as I'm gonna keep on doing that. You can see that uh, heal is actually increasing, and uh, at certain moment, um, let me do it one more time. Uh, a landfall effect gonna appear, and that uh, heal uh, gonna be bigger. <laughs> uh, it just gonna landfall on in different sizes, sides. So you can see it's quite a big pack already. But anyway. Uh, oh. Yeah, just refreshing stamina that way. Yeah, I just want to see that landfall effect already. Oh, here it is. You can see uh, some dust lift off, and now that cell also contains uh, rock. And these cells are just grass race. okay mm, going back 
so well, maybe uh, when we're gonna go get into question and answer uh, regime mode uh, when, uh, when I st uh, well, st stop t uh, talking and will answer your question uh, maybe you will tell me what should I uh, what kind of tunnel you want to see but right now I'm gonna make um, a room mm, wide room with some stairs uh, going downwards let me oh you can see it yourself I hope oh and when we are talking about uh, um, when we are talking about rock you can see uh, that obviously it's uh, there is a slate maybe it's not that obviously but still uh, it's a slate uh, that will be used for rooftops and for some uh, constructions uh, but well basically it, it is um, less dense uh, material and it will be digged uh, way easier than simpler rocks well let's try to expand our room oops refreshing doesn't work properly as it used to Okay, we are back in action. <laughs> yeah, let's expand the tunnel. Oh, by the way, as about interface, uh, whenever you right click on something, uh, you can see available uh, abilities that you can do with uh, that entity. Uh, if you are targeting a cell or if you are targeting, targeting a tunnel block. And you can also, and you should also, uh, make uh, some ability as a default so left clicks without context menu will just do the stuff so you can see i'm just left clicking left clicking oh, again stamina left clicking and i'm just digging that room boom, boom, boom. yeah let's do it a bit wider just some patience and now I'm gonna make a way down something like something like that So that resulted in some kind of weird room. Oh yeah, <laughs> with strange artifacts. Let's conceal them. <laughs> yeah, now you can see everything is okay. You haven't seen that. <laughs> As I said, it's alpha, and well, it's not even alpha. It's pre-alpha and nightly built, and well, everything can happen any magic can, can happen here so well it looks like an entrance into some maybe dungeon some well hard to explain uh, well that's pretty much all uh, I wanted to show right now uh, oh no about abilities and uh, and such uh, well, one of those abilities you have seen, uh, you must have seen in our promo video is actually formation ab abilities. So let's imagine that I'm a formation leader and I can issue wedge formation uh, order that is following me. Uh, and it's well actually following, if I'm gonna turn around, it won't uh, move. It's okay because I'm a leader and I want to observe situation around me but I don't want everyone to <laughs> turn around me but as soon as I start walking you can see it uh, turning around it's a big uh, a bit bigger right now but I believe we're gonna tune it and there are different uh, other formations uh, if you uh, don't know or haven't heard about our formation system uh, the idea behind it uh, is uh, 
at uh, the more unit members uh, are inside that formation uh, so inside that formation uh, the more bonuses each one of them get you can see also right now. okay uh, we are back in action uh, well that bug is noted and gonna be exterminated uh, Monday at least so back uh, to our unit information system uh, so as I said, uh, that formation uh, figure appears, uh, and uh, the rest of unit members, uh, well, they are interested in to getting in that information. And the more unit members are information, the bigger are bonuses. And also there are also uh, uh, combat orders uh, like move or oh, hold your ground. Okay. Just hold your gun that just slows you down and give you, but give you more defense and more attack speed uh, at the moment. Uh, so the main idea behind it in mass battles, uh, you will be able uh, the most organized unit uh, that uh, always aware about its surroundings and where the team members are. They will be more effective. Well game gonna help them with some outside bonuses and someone uh, asked about animations well mm, there they are it's like yes it's like a mountain blade it just swings overhead attack and first attack yeah uh, let's turn off that formation for now mm. oh well last thing that I wanted to show you it just the most important weapon uh, that you can even possess in our game it no it's not yes it is yes it's a perfect weapon you can use at any time to smash your foes yeah, and also it looks nice in first person view. <laughs> uh, well, right now I believe it's pretty much all. Uh, let me dump some of my stuff into my stash. I can abuse it in key master mode. Oh, by the way, I can move that. I should be able to move that stash also. Yeah. Yeah, I know how does it look, but well, that's uh, the only way how we can move movable objects. You just b get them on the on your back and just move somewhere slowly. Yeah, as any object you can move it, and all well, movable objects can be even moved in that axis. So, bam! Here's my chest. Um. Well, um, I believe that's uh, pretty much all. Um, well, right now I'm ready for your questions, uh, but keep in mind that at least five or maybe up to ten seconds lag. So if you ask your question and I will answer it in like half a minute, it's not because I am sleepy and it's not because it's almost one a.m. here. It's because uh, of Twitch lag, and well, it's okay actually. Uh, yes, uh, other players can open uh, your chest unless it is uh, placed on your claim, on your personal claim. Everything on your personal claim is invulnerable and uh, nothing, no, no one can do anything with it uh, unless it is a friend of yours uh, that you allowed to access. And if the chest going to be uh, in the wilderness, like now, on, on, uh, on unknown territory, non-claimed territory, it means that uh, the chest does not have an owner and well, it's free for all, everyone can come, take it, lift it and open it. Uh, I cannot show you duel because I am alone here. Uh, uh, details about archery, it's not, uh, well, it's broken at the moment, uh, but it was working and um, well, it's pretty much physical stuff, uh, ballistic trajectory of uh, archery, and there are also some archery um, 
special F, um, special abilities like stopping power or next to the, you know, cross ball bolt will cause a knockdown piercing bolt or something like uh, such arrow to the knee next arrow will slow your target for some percents uh, well we, we have uh, a basics of that system but they are not uh, um, well not in detail right now oh I can see a lot of questions Mm, uh, well, for, first, uh, will that game be released on uh, European servers or will there be a North American server to play on as well? Mm, well, trust me, honestly, if we were not just 10 people, half of us sitting in the flat and half of us disturbed around the globe, we would certainly make a simultaneous start of, of European servers and North American servers. But in our current state, we just cannot handle both of servers. And another reason for that uh, is, uh, well, I believe we better start with one server. Uh, so population will be tightened there. And as soon as we see uh, that it becomes too dense, we can create another North American server just from a scratch and people will be able to play it. Uh, another question. Uh, can you be a part of order and the kingdom? Uh, no, you can. Uh, well, order uh, is uh, and kingdom is just uh, different states of a guild. Uh, when you are starting a guild, you must find uh, five players that will uh, swear oath of allegiance to you, and as soon as they do that, uh, you will be a leader of a uh, order. Uh, you will be uh, an order unless you will make a guild claim. You will build a monument, special monument, that will claim uh, a lot of uh, land around it uh, for your guild. And as soon as you do that, uh, your order become a country. And uh, later, when your country, uh, when your country is uh, successful and uh, able to victorious against other country, or maybe just. Uh, through some diplomatic negotiations. Anyway, if uh, some other country agree to submit uh, to your country, your country become a kingdom. Uh, well, basically, it can call it can be called as an alliance. Uh, but well, everything is possible. Maybe you just pop up to, uh, 100 trebuchets under the castle walls, and they said, "Okay, okay, we're gonna be your vessel. We're gonna be your country, and you're gonna be a kingdom now." Uh, everything is possible. <laughs> Remember, life is feudal. Uh, uh, the game should be free. Uh, yes, it's, no, it's well, it's buy to play uh, model. Uh, so you will be able to download client for free. You will be able to uh, join uh, Newby Island, but your total uh, skill cap will be limited to at 150 uh, points. And also, every changes that we will make on that new island will be wiped daily. Every real life day, we're gonna reset uh, that island back to its previous state. So, if you want to make some permanent changes, make your own land claims, make your own uh, walls and gardens and farming and such, uh, you will have to pay uh, a single fee, uh, and then you will appear. Somewhere in the wilderness, or so maybe uh, in starting town, it depends on you, and you all handicaps will be removed and you will be able to play. Uh, other than that, there will be uh, some vanity shop where you can, uh, where you will be able to get some uh, armors like uh, that evil mas mask I have now. <laughs> Just a moment. Uh, okay, uh, you will be able to purchase some items, and well, that's basically all. At least that's how we plan it for a long amount of time. Let's see how it's gonna work out. Uh, again, someone had asked about chest. As I've said, uh, if that chest is placed on your personal claim, no one will be able to use it. If that chest is placed on unclaimed land, it considered as no one's chest and everyone can use it. Um, well, about plans of dungeons and NPCs and so on, well, 
uh, I just can admit the fact that our campaign is not going very well and I'm afraid it won't be successful and so because of that fact we must have to survive somehow so we're gonna rush for alpha version and there will be certainly no advanced features in our games that we planned before like dungeons with NPCs there will be wild animals so you will be able to hunt oh by the way uh, well I could uh, turn them on uh, right now but all those wild boars and bears will prevent me from building stuff and you know uh, and back uh, to the topic uh, so many of our features will have to be um, well, pulled uh, further in the later stages of development and who knows if they will be in game at all Mm. Uh, will there be stone housing more than just uh, logging cabins in the future? Well, of course, there are pl plenty of different stuff you can build, so let's build something, something really interesting. Um, well, school or boom, boom, boom. Let's make a uh, plaster house, big plaster house oh here it is I'm not even sure it can fit in here properly well I'm gonna ignore all limitations <laughs> of flattening and just gonna build it ok Bam. here is a big plaster house those windows and such oh well, it's actually looks nice <laughs> now let's build something more important mm, masonry no architecture yeah that's where big stuff is really placed mm -hmm. trading post stone house okay stone house No, let it be. Ba -bam. Let me get inside. <laughs> not not on that side. Well, that's a big stone house with some rooms. Uh, well, it's actually gonna have ten bind points. Uh, that means that you will be able. Uh, there will be able um, uh, to bind 10 persons to that house well build 10 beds uh, that means uh, that uh, you will be able to recall to that house and nine other persons will be able to recall here too and if you die in somewhere you will be respawned at your house so actually houses are not just a fancy thing uh, but it's also an important part of uh, larger guilds uh, because uh, uh, if you want to have uh, 100 uh, your guild members staying in one city you will actually have to build houses for them uh, and if you don't build those houses in case they die during siege or during battles they will appear in the central city that might be kilometers away from you so it's just not for for fun or for fancy just have some strategical purposes uh, comparison or yes someone asked to comparison of houses they are pretty much the same uh, well bigger houses are pretty much the same uh, but well small log cabin is not that much not that big oh well let's build the most basic and interesting stuff in game Mm -hmm. Construction materials preparation. Uh, oh, yeah. The perfect thing that will be nice for any <laughs> hermit. Yeah, it's just called Tiny Shack. You can actually see some, uh, something <laughs> inside of it. Yeah, it's even got some kind of window. But still, there is a uh, one bind point in the tiny shack. So, for those who are living alone, they, well, they will be able uh, to bind there and just be a lonely hermit in the middle of nowhere. Just run out uh, in the woods and live there. 
with your garden, with your uh, whatever you like. Maybe you will able to build a small stable uh, to breed uh, some animals. It's up to you. Uh, okay, what else? Well, uh, about ch character uh, animations, we are improving them right now, but as you can imagine, it's still cost a thing to do, and well, maybe it's not uh, that perfect as you see, but at least uh, it does not make you vomit, <laughs> and I believe uh, we will try to improve, but trust me, it won't be our priority, at least at current moments of development. Um, another questions? No, for, uh, is the fireplace and the, uh, the house interactive? No, it is not, uh, but well, uh, in later stages of development you will be able to place uh, furniture inside the house, so we will be able to place... Um, let me find it... Dun, 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 bottom, boom, boom, boom. No, it's not here. I can find it. <laughs> nah, I can find it. There is a brazier uh, you can build. Oh well, let me... Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, here it is, floral lamp. Yeah, but I just uh, can't light it out right now, light it on. But well, you can decorate them later. Uh, is there a gravity effect uh, for tunneling? Uh, can have a structure collapse with too much weight? Uh, yeah, you can make a throne also, I can see it. Uh, uh, well, um, uh, there are some limitations. So, for instance, we're gonna prevent of floating uh, pieces of rocks, uh, like when you dig it all around and just it floating in the air, we're gonna prevent it, uh, but aside from that, uh, you will be able to construct um, supports, supporting columns. Uh, let me check. No, it's not uh, in the actual stage right now, but we will be able to so build the supporting columns, so during maintenance, uh, tunnels won't decay. If you don't build those uh, columns in few real life days, uh, your tunnels gonna collapse, and you will able and you will have to dig everything uh, from the start. Uh, how many professions? Uh, oh, how many professions? It's skill cap. Uh, so there are you can see all crafting skills. On next page you can see all combat skills and also you can see minor skills and every skill can be leveled from 0 to 100 you can see actual skill level and effective skill level and uh, as soon as some of those skills uh, is bigger than 600 uh, some other skill have to be lowered like I'm placing a downward uh, arrow so next time I'm gonna raise some of my other skills uh, terraforming skill gonna be downgraded that's the point of skill cap system and I really suggest you read it on our site if you're not familiar with it so it's up to you what kind of profession you're gonna make maybe you're gonna make a simple gatherer who will be able to prospect and mine ore f plant and cut trees uh, find and gather herbs uh, terraform and construct basic basic uh, stuff and also make some farming uh, and so on or maybe you will be speci specified in uh, uh, in uh, metal uh, archetype so you will be a perfect smith with uh, and you will be able to forge weapons and forge armors and maybe you will also able to hunt and just make some jewels for yourself uh, also, I must uh, strict uh, that uh, skill cap uh, is different for crafting skills and for combat skills. So if we are talking about uh, you to be a good smith, uh, it doesn't prevent you to be a good, uh, let's say, two-handed uh, user. Two-handed user. Uh, 
Uh, so uh, it's, that's a point. Uh, you don't have to make. Uh, uh, well, you don't have to force yourself to be either a peaceful crafter or warrior. You can be both, but you cannot be a all-around all warrior as you cannot be master of all crafts uh, at the given time. But uh, our system, uh, our idea is to avoid grind. So if you are playing uh, like well, a few hours at evenings and for four or five hours at weekends, so you are a casual player, you will be able to get to 90 level of skill uh, well, like if in a few weeks really fast. But, but if you want to have 100 level skill, it might take you even months or maybe who knows a years. Uh, but uh, when you are gonna achieve that 100 level skill, uh, you will be, well, almost the same effective as a 90 level skill. But you will be able to show out, you will be able just to pick um, uh, titles that will be uh, seen to everyone, you will be able to craft decorated armors, you will be able to wear them, if we are talking about... Um, if we are talking about uh, combat skills like scale armors 100 uh, so my scale armors uh, i have cheated it in 100 so that allow me uh, uh, that allows me to wear that uh, royal scale helm because uh, normal scale helm looks well 90 level skill level helm doesn't look that bad as <laughs> Well, I'm looking a, a bit of ninja, <laughs> but still, that feathered head looks way better. Uh, another questions? Uh, well, that's a lot of them. <laughs> mm, one character per account or multi? It's not decided yet, uh, but um, maybe one, maybe two characters. Uh, but not that much. And, uh, well, actually, our idea is that you don't really need those different tunes. Well, you can always respect at any time. You, it's not like you selected um, healer profession and you won't be able to be any other profession at any time. You will be able to respect uh, uh, at any time and that's okay. So maybe you don't need really that a lot of tunes and you, as I said, because of the separated skill caps, you can be an effective warrior and effective crafter at the same time, and you are not limited to that. Um, about archery, as I said, uh, it's not working right now, but there is, uh, it is in the game. Uh, for some of us girls, tailoring and making different color outfits is on our wish list. Uh, will this be possible someday? Well, if girls are asking for that, <laughs> we're gonna make it. <laughs> well, uh, there, uh, there is a tailoring. Um, let me get, get one ID, ID for some stuff. Just a second. Okay, um, uh, you will um, maybe highlight a game or stage of development, uh, you will be able to color it, uh, but uh, just not now, not in the Oh wait, I don't need to. It's not that colored, but it's at least it's oh, well, it's a cloth. Oh, well, nice, nicely looking cloth. Cold, uh, decorated cloth. Well, we plan a hel heladry somewhere later, uh, sometime later. But uh, again. As far as our campaign going right now, it won't be the, well, that, that fast or that soon enough. Okay, any more questions? Uh, uh, about a uh, question about respect. Uh, no, it's not an instant. Uh, well, I tried to explain it. 
uh, if you uh, well, let's imagine that you got 90 in all uh, uh, in all metal uh, skills uh, in all metal skills and you just say okay I don't want to craft weapons anymore I just want to gather different flowers and herbs and so on so what you do you just uh, make all skills downward and you make all uh, oh wait it's not herbalism you make all other skills locked and you make all uh, uh, herbalism and alchemy skills uh, upward you mark them upward so whenever you're gonna uh, search for herbs whenever oh by the way let's try it mm -hmm. if I gonna crash wait for five more means Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, well, I just uh, search for herbs, and well, actually, I can see uh, some herbs appeared around me. They are only client side, uh, and well, actually, I have to look and uh, well to find them. Uh, oh, there is uh, another herb. Nice. Let's gather it. Pam, it disappeared. So now I got uh, Erantia Ludaeva. <laughs> Don't ask me what does it mean, it's just another <laughs> alchemy ingredient. Uh, well, back to the topic. So uh, you will be able to uh, mark your skills uh, and upward, and as soon as you are using those skills, they will raise, and if you had hit it, uh, skill cap, your metal skills will downgrade. So that's how your spec are going to be. You just mark what you are, uh, what you, are you going to sacrifice, and you are marking up what are you going to level up. And as soon as you are leveling it up, it will raise, and that's the way how you spec. What does PET really do? Nothing right now. Uh, we had uh, a lot of plans uh, about oh another help. Had a lot of plans about. Um, Pope system, uh, crusades, uh, holy wars, and so on. But right now, it's gonna be limited to few um, abilities. Uh, well, it's like prayers, prayer of home returnal that will that will be basically a recall and will bring you back to your home. Uh, blessings that uh, you can cast on someone else, so he will have lowered. Uh, death penalty it will be useful uh, before battles you know like in those movies different popes and different bishops are going um, near the troops and blessing everyone to survive that battle and, well something like that uh, will be in uh, life is futile because all of them will be interested not to lose those skills during battle uh, so that pretty much will be uh, for piety at current state uh, and can praise your God, yes, uh, that's uh, well, yes, also um, uh, praising and uh, um, what's called, mm, yes, praising uh, is the only way how you can raise your alignment and only once a day. So, killing some evil villains or some monsters won't raise your alignment. So, if you are with a low alignment just try not to kill anything and just be uh, white and fluffy for a long time before you will uh, be forgiven by your god no, no farming uh, you know like it was in darkfall and in some other games uh, when you create a tune that is evil and you just uh, farm kill it uh, to um, raise your alignment back it will be impossible in our game so you must care about your alignment uh, because if your alignment is really low when you die you're gonna lose a lot of skills you know, skill points uh, in your skills uh, if you are in good alignment it will, the loss will be minor maybe one two skill points really minor but if you are in really bad shape and you are evil veteran like me minus 58 alignment that can return or cause me to lose something like 50 points uh, in skills and that's quite a uh, good amount, considering that I might have some weapon powers at 90 level of skill and buff I have uh, died and now I have like 60 in that skill and I can't use the powers. So 
I'd rather not to die or not be the table gunker. Uh, are there any stat requirements on weapons and armor at C? Uh, or you can use anything as you wish. Of course, there are mm, weapon requirements. There, there are requirements on uh, different armors. For instance, heavy scale tonic uh, demands uh, 90 in uh, your scale uh, armor skill. Scale armors. As I said that earlier, well, that royal scale uh, helmet needed 100 in scale uh, armor skills. That's the only way how I was able to equip it. Can you comment on Indigo Go fundraising? Are you optimist? Yes, I'm optimist. Or oh, what if it fails? Well, you, you, if you have seen our uh, pitch video about our team, we can always uh, we have a plan B. We can sell uh, sell our donor organs and keep on development and uh, just get to the alpha and maybe ask. For your support once more but well we will uh, provide alpha access for it and uh, that definitely won't be that expensive uh, as it is now uh, current problem uh, that we cannot change reward uh, prices and cannot change final goal so yes uh, we saw that uh, feedback that it's too expensive but on our other hand uh, well uh, opening flute gates on alpha stage so Sarah gonna be crashing every five minutes it's not a good experience also so it was like no no situation either we do not meet our goal or we just uh, fail alpha and uh, everyone says that it's completely unplayable we prefer to just sell our donor organs uh, uh, and just get to alpha to make it stable and just let players play you were serious was the be real of course i was serious <laughs> selling uh, well you know every human have two kidneys why do you need the, both of them <laughs> and yes beer was real <laughs> uh plan c start making math <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> that's a good option also um, uh, back to multi accounts as a legal yes of course why not uh, just I don't see what it gonna brings to you just uh, our concept uh, concept of our game is to well, uh, there are almost no NPCs, there are almost no NPC interaction. And if you're gonna make, uh, for instance, a guild of five uh, alternate tombs uh, and make your guild claim, uh, well, you will be wiped out by neighboring guilds quite fast because you won't be able to protect your lands because you will be only alone. Well, maybe you will be able to hire some mercenaries, other player mercenaries, but again, you must farm a lot to, well, to be somewhat like it. Uh, uh, okay, one well, another question. So, can you show us some crops growing? Uh, what a plot area looks like? I can show you plot area, but crops, uh, well, we're right now making. Um, Right now we are making uh, that. <laughs> what I was talking about. Right now we are making that uh, farming uh, system. Okay, I do, uh, what I'm doing right now is uh, getting some soil. Uh, and I'm gonna put it on the ground, and I'm going to put it on the ground here. It's not representable. Let me pour one more. Well, that's something like a bit of plowed soil. You can see at least some trace of it. But all actually uh, plow abilities are on the way. Maybe at Monday uh, we'll, we will see them, and maybe at the, at the end of that week uh, there will be farming calls. At least I hope so. Uh, about horses what about horses uh, well uh, it's another holy war moment uh, 
Right now they are not working, but we are planning to implement them later because uh, they are quite. It's not just a way of transportation, like horseback riding. It's also a wall um, uh, link of uh, combat skills: warhorse handling, uh, mounted fighting mastery, lancing, heavy horse handling. So it's pretty much important, and uh, there will be kind of troops, mounted troops, uh, and there will, to balance them there will be uh, actually uh, pike uh, troops uh, with different p pike and polearm uh, weapons that will dismount uh, those uh, mounted warriors. So yes, we plan to have them, uh, and do, don't know when uh, they're gonna be actually in game, but should be soon. Uh, enough about archery. I said I cannot show it right now, but it just you get a bow and shoot uh, an arrows, get an X bow, crossbow, and shoot uh, its balls. Oh, and we plan also to have a slings, uh, sling, how it's called, yeah, throwing weaponry, uh, like uh, throwing axes and uh, javelins. When is instant alpha and how long will the servers be open? 24 and 7 will servers resets. Well, instant alpha it's set on uh, Indiegogo page. It is uh, right after a successful end of our campaign. If our campaign will be unsuccessful, I predict alpha to be in somewhere in February or March uh, of next year. If those funds from kidney selling will be enough. Spawn an NPC and chip off his head. <laughs> well, uh, spawn uh, wild animals. Uh, I have to restart the server and everything. And well, guys, it's 1 p.m. Uh, in the morning here. Well, let's do it some later time on some later updates. Uh, cryptic Killer. Uh, as a veteran of both Darkfall and Ultima Online, I think that pocket mount system in Darkfall Online worked well. To be honest, I'd say oh, I should agree with you. I played in uh, Ultima Online, in Darkfall, and uh, Shadowbane. Well, Shadowbane uh, had no mounts, but all well, some other games uh, had them, and well, we just gonna maybe stick to that system, just gonna have a bigger timer before you can pop a uh, mount uh, up and before you can uh, mount it or, and before you will be able to pop it back in your inventory. So during that timer any damage will interrupt you. So there will not be, uh, there will be no instant uh, poof mount, poof you're on it, poof you're gone. No, there will be some timing and it won't be able to save you in the middle of the fight but it will be quite easy to use and you won't have to search for stables or make it to follow you and keep in mind that it's npc that is following you and it's addition server load and guys really you don't even imagine how hard to handle npcs in constantly uh, shaping world because i can uh, make a heal here uh, so some mounts won't be uh, able to pass, so I can dig uh, some kind of pit uh, to stack those uh, animals. Well, let's dig a tunnel downward. So. so I can make uh, some, some kind of uh, pit and uh, it's really hard to make uh, all those NPCs not to stack in that pit. Uh, it's not your average theme park MMORPG, so keep that in mind. Uh, as long as the mounts are lootable, killable, then it's a good system. Of course, mounts are lootable, of course, mounts are killable. And well, um, that uh, line of uh, Pike ma spear mastery and pikes uh, will be more proficient against uh, mounts. Oh, by the way, let me show you one thing: how you will be able to counter mounts. Let's turn. Uh, oh wait, where is it? Pike. 
one second. <laughs> okay, here is my bike, like it's equipped. Okay, so let's imagine we have a huge horse uh, charging towards us. So, but you are a trained pikeman and you are ready for that, and you just make it. That, uh, oh, come on, yeah, and you make something like that, and you are ready to meet that horse, Arr. and just gonna drop down that for for sure, unless uh, a rider gonna stop it. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, first person bike animation also looks good. Oh no, those hands. <laughs> Don't look at them. Mm. Any more questions? Uh, animal have uh, her own life. Are they walking in the world or spawn this on the same place? Yes, wild animals have their own life. They will randomly walk around, eat something, uh, sleep, and so on. And to s preserve several load, uh, they will be uh, randomly spawned while you are traveling. And the amount of those spawns depends on uh, civilization rating of that area. For instance, if there are a lot of huge cities around it, a lot of players running around and building stuff and fighting and so on, civilization rating of that area will be quite high and there will be uh, almost zero chance or quite small chance to stumble upon wild animal. But uh, if you go somewhere in the wilderness where no one else came or it's just some buildings or a few hermits, uh, there will be uh, a lot of wild animals and they will be of high quality uh, that means it will be harder for you to kill but if you will kill you will get a better uh, stuff better fools better uh, clothes and better alchemy ingredients uh, from animals uh, I'm excited about the game learn from adventure and mistakes well <laughs> as I said earlier we do not promise four leg running on the start so I believe uh, we know where we are going to, uh, to. Uh, is there a food water system yes there is a food system I have cookies uh, and it's quite complicated um, please spawn some portions um, well, okay let me finish about food and then I'm gonna talk about alchemy so about the food it's quite complicated uh, you will be able to cook it yourself um, let me do it somewhere later oh maybe oh, maybe I'll be able to show it right now mm -hmm. right again fine build build to turn okay campfire oh I just added some branches so I can okay so here we have a campfire and we can cook something uh, so you can see a lot of recipes uh, that are available uh, so when we are talking about cooking uh, uh, you, uh, what? how it works uh, you can always catch some fish and fry it or search for edible uh, roots something like forest no, nature slow search for something edible oh, I have failed to find anything uh, so you can find something uh, edible uh, but if you it will be enough to keep your hunger rate uh, well, at, at a good state because hunger rate is used to regenerate your stamina but there is also one complication uh, called uh, food quality multiplier uh, the better food you are eating the more complex it is uh, the higher that multiplier and that multiplier affect uh, your skill race ratio 
So in my case, uh, my skills will rise ninety uh, percent faster. And if uh, that food uh, quality multiplier will be lower, if I will eat only roasted fish, uh, that multiplier m can be uh, negative. So my skills will raise lower. So, uh, so that system, uh, if you know, if you are advanced cook, if you know advanced recipes uh, with like four or five ingredients, and you get good uh, quality of ingredients uh, from your farmer or maybe you grow them yourselves, uh, you will be able to create a good uh, meals and those good meals uh, will provide more bonuses for you and maybe for your guildmates so you will progress your in your skills faster. So we are, uh, that way we are making cooking uh, not so secondary profession. Uh, just uh, it's on the same stage as maybe armor smithing or bowcraft or even construction or terraforming. It's quite important also and uh, good economical background uh, of your settlement is also crucial so you can provide uh, with a lot of food and ingredients uh, to your cook so you will be better in, uh, in your settlement. Mutton with peas. Okay, so we need milk. We need PS. And we need mutton. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I need a cooking pot. One second. Turn, 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 turn. Mm -hmm. What was? Oh no! Come on. All fuel has burned out. I need to add more branches. Yeah, as you can see, f f campfires are running out of uh, fuel quite fast. So it's not uh, a best way to cook something. It's just rather fast way to cook something. Uh, but you can always uh, build an oven or a wall kitchen for in your settlement or for yourself. Uh, what I was doing, cook. Mutton with peas. Pom. So I have received, yeah, that's my dish. Looking nice. Mutton with peas. Quality, uh, yeah, quality 95. Mm, yeah, it's good. Okay, uh, I was talking about kitchen. Just wanted to show you. It looks quite nice also. But there is always, I don't remember who, where it is placed. Mm -hmm. Oh, kitchen, here it is. Yeah, so you can use it also, and it should not burn out that fast. Yeah, you can see some boiling sounds even, which are looped <laughs> at the moment. Uh, how many insta alpha access passes do you get if you pledge keep or castle? Uh, it still can be negotiated, I believe. Uh, it's a, a good amount of. Uh, it's a good amount of. Uh, funds so we can always talk about it maybe like 12 20 or 25 it's, it can be done uh, can you attack with the cooking pot <laughs> well you'd be surprised 
Uh, let me get it. Yeah, it's looking huge. <laughs> but here you go. Dunk. Dunk. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the, the damage will be minor, mind you. <laughs> Will the texture of the models improve by the time the game is released? By the time the game is released, everything is possible, but it certainly won't be in alpha. Well, we have some texture revamp going right now. Uh, it will be better, but well, guys, we are not triple A company with Malin budget. We can't make cosmetic changes every time. Just keep that in mind. This is gonna be hell of a show pot fighting game. <laughs> well, it is. Uh, how will you increase your ability stats like strength, constitution, intelligence? Does it depend on the skills you use or is it separate? Of course, uh, uh, it depends on skills. Oh, by the way, um, uh, attributes uh, have the same uh, system. It's called uh, stat cap. So if you want to be uh, very uh, good warrior, you might invest in some strange but you will have to downgrade your intelligence sorry or maybe you can be uh, all around even and as i said you can always respect so i don't need so much willpower i need more strange and i'm gonna lock everything and uh, how you gonna raise it by using skills every skill have primary attribute like in, in that case it's constitution and secondary attribute willpower so if you are using, for instance, uh, logging, your strength is going to increase and your constitution is going to increase, but uh, at a bit slower rates. So if you want to level up your attributes, you just make, uh, you just perform those abilities. Like for strength, it's logging and mining and maybe something else. Yeah, procreation. Hmm. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, kitchen have stopped working. It's okay, it's not that loud. Oh, it's a lot of <laughs> spam. Uh, we have seen terraforming dungeon at the ground. Can we raise the terrain in high and, uh, and lowering? Well, of course we can. Well, I just showed you it a bit earlier um, that's a uh, buggy looking uh, hill um, it's supposed to be a gravel here you can actually hear it when I'm stepping it's just a minor bug when, when I'm gonna reconnect everything will be fine and well I just can pour some soil now yeah that's the way I'm, uh, how I'm raising from ground level. So you can see it's a bit of hill here. Could you show us next time a little PvP fight? <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I bet I will, but uh, right now our combat system, well, we received a lot of feedback uh, how players, uh, how combat system is important for players and how uh, looked not that nice in our promotional video so we'd rather make it more finished and more polished uh, than to show it at the earlier stage so maybe in like two weeks or so we'll be able to show something but right now it just well there's nothing much to show would be nice to see warships like dark fall head <laughs> of course it will be nice but just guys not in alpha stage <laughs> Uh, can we interact with water? Will there all be oceans and lakes, boats, or is water an invisible wall we can pass? Well, you can interact with water, actually, you can fish in it, uh, and you can also see its huge lake here. Uh, well, with some reflections and such. And yes, you can swim in it.
Yeah, I'm flo do not let me unequip the pot. Just awful. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much how you can swim. And uh, general action. Yeah, you can get some water out of water. <laughs> that can be used later for cooking or maybe for some crafting recipes and you can also build a well uh, if you need uh, to do that uh, what else of oh, course cool. wait for video upload Will there be feral aggressive mobs in the water like Kraken and sea serpents? Yeah, feral aggressive Kraken, of course there will be no. There will be no monsters that will uh, go out uh, at nights and steal your children. No, there will be no such things. And no sharks and so on. Well, basically when you are inside uh, in water, you can't do anything, just swim. You can't use any abilities or fight or anything. And your stamina will run out quite fast. Uh, so. No, there is no reason for you to be a uh, long time in the water it's just like terrain obstacle or maybe something you will be later used to terraform and just uh, for your purposes okay <laughs> interesting glitch something with states anyway Can you drown? Of course you can drown. I mean, you will die and won't be, uh, or will be hard time uh, to loot yourself. Uh, can we terraform the land uh, up out of the water? Uh, well, uh, you cannot uh, perform any abilities while you are floating, but you can uh, drop some uh, soil on uh, neighboring cells that are in the water while you are standing on the ground and not floating. Uh, raising the level that way and just keep on doing that so you can create a, some kind of uh, maybe a, um, <laughs> bridge or something like that so you can make artificial islands also but keep in mind that it might be a, a huge amount of efforts Is there weather interacts with the environment? For example, is there a storm? Uh, there is a flood. <laughs> well, we can turn on flood as a vent at any time. Uh, and there's about storm. Well, we are right now we are planning a few, um, few weather effects like uh, cloudy day or sunny day. Uh, maybe some precipitation like rain, uh, but nothing uh, so advanced. If you have seen our Indigo campaign page, it was in our strategy goals, and well, it, I doubt that it will be met. Uh, anything else? Uh, besides pledging, is there any other ways you are looking for to the fan base to contribute? Just bring your ideas, so be active and well, spread the word. That's maybe the main activity uh, that we will be really thankful because, well, you see it's quite a hardcore game with full loot, with uh, complex features that maybe not even everyone will be able to understand. So. Well, I can call our game pretty niche game, so it's not like your World of Warcraft or Lineage where everyone can play. So uh, you need to spread the word so other interested, same-minded persons as you are, as we are, will be able to know about our game and join and well have fun playing that game. That's what your best contribution will be, just spread the word. No, I cannot spawn an NPC and attack him. I said that earlier. 
how big will the map be oh, 21 square kilometers so on 21 square kilometers uh, well you can see it uh, on our concept art on our site uh, the concept of our map uh, video just lagged when you answered. Can someone repeat for me? No, oh, it's not for me. <laughs> can you dig under city walls? Yes, you can. Uh, but maybe you will have hard times to find an uh, exit point uh, inside enemy city. Um, but once you will find it, yes, you will create an underground uh, tunnel. That's all. Will your home did village have an NPC guard to protect from wild animals such as room? No, there will be no NPC guard and there is no reason to protect your mm, protect your stuff from animals that won't attack it. And players they won't be able to do anything with your claim uh, unless it is active and maintained. Uh, unless it is not removed, so there is no reason for guards. Maybe there will be some defensive structures like Zap Towers uh, in Darkfall uh, to protect uh, Guild City from some occasional raids, but we will decide it later. What happened if I get killed by player? Must he gank me first to loot me and can my mate survive me if I got killed or uh, instant respawn at my buying spot? Okay, you miss... Uh, well, yeah, might be not uh, familiar with our game. So we have uh, hard hit points and soft hit points. Uh, they're all on the same bar. Uh, hard hit points means your actual health. If they drop below zero, you are dead. You are dead and no one will be able to revive you, you will respawn at your bind point and your corpse will be uh, lootable to everyone who will be able to open it. Uh, you can die from piercing and slashing weapons from some of uh, wild predators, like from bears and wolves. Um, that's pretty much so. Uh, and there are also soft hit points, it's uh, the measure of your conscience. How, how well you feel yourself and the blunt uh, weapons, different sledgehammers, maces and some uh, no, not predator animals will deal blunt damage like deers and wild cows, aurochs will deal uh, uh, them uh, blunt damage, uh, your soft hit points gonna, if they, your soft, uh, soft hit points gonna drop below zero, you will be knocked out, uh, but you will be alive, you will be lootable uh, but you will be alive and after some time you will be back on your legs so if you well uh, if you want to uh, well if some pk don't want to lose his alignment he will have to mess with you to knock you out uh, because the uh, his alignment penalty gonna be way lower uh, for that uh, and well it might be even good uh, situation for you because uh, after he had loot you you will be back on your legs and alive you won't lose your skill points well it's like somewhat win-win situation for both of you uh, and uh, as about um, your teammates uh, yes they will be able to perform some healing abilities so if you are knocked out so you will get on your legs way faster but of course enemies will be able to gank you even if you are knocked out if, you, if it's uh, in a state of war and it's no alignment penalties because you have an official war and it's in their interest to finish you off rather than wait for you to get up mm, yeah maybe I should ask a few words about our damage system uh, that we can have uh, that you can uh, different weapons apply different types uh, of uh, wounds and fractures on your body parts since there is no one for, for well, since there is no one for, to attack uh, I will just let's add some fractures on my poor body like fracture here fracture there yeah broken ribs yeah, I'm broken. Yeah, arrow to the knee, and let's add some wound also. 
So you can see uh, that during a fight you can uh, receive different uh, ones, bleeding ones and fractures on your body that will s well affect your performance. You can see those effects here uh, that will affect your performance. It's not like in real life uh, when a broken uh, hand will make you most useful because you won't be able to swing anything or broken leg will make you almost Im Im immobile. It's just gonna make you less effective, but still uh, able to fight and for your life or maybe even to chase uh, someone. Uh, those uh, wounds will heal up slowly in, in some period of time, uh, but some uh, healer, there is a um, crafting skill called healing, uh, he will be able to heal you up faster, but it's not like combat healing, of course it's not, it's just no, outside of battle healing. Uh, in battles there will be uh, no way, almost no ways for you to heal yourself up, uh, so you'd better just keep uh, alive and well protected and just uh, run away if things are too harsh for you. Well, that's it, that's our concept. Uh, we will get an alignment penalty if we defend ourselves. Uh, yes, well, well, no, it's not uh, that, uh, that way. The first one who made an attack will be a criminal, and you will be able to attack that criminal without no alignment penalty. So if you see someone charging you with two-handed sword, just make sure that you will get the first uh, attack on yourself, so in case you will be able to succeed and defend yourself and kill him, you won't get any alignment penalties, because you, it was a self-defense. Uh, so it might be tricky in some parts, but that's our law. <laughs> Yeah, once their legs are broken, going for the kill was a cooking pot. Well, I prefer shovels, but it's up to you. <laughs> uh, can you be in multiple guilds? No, you cannot. You just pick one guild and you are with it or you are not. Speaking of damage system, how does the healing skill work? Well, uh, as I said, it's not combat healing, it's rather to help you to get to the next battle uh, all healed up. So a healer will um, make a heal, perform some healing uh, actions on you and you will, see if, uh, you will get a special buff called Bed Rest. Uh, that buff will increase your healing speed, but if you receive any damage, all effect gonna be lost and you will have to go to the back to the healer. So that's idea, if you got heavily wounded uh, in battle, you must find uh, a healer and s avoid any battles for some period of time. So it's, um, it's so tactics of exhaustion is possible. So if some guild uh, managed to, um, to defend themselves in some fight, uh, and killed all attackers, uh, but they were wounded and uh, had some fractures and some other guild, uh, well, they taken their advantage, advantage uh, and just go in and raid you uh, because you have uh, a lot of wounded persons that are not so effective in defense uh, because they need to time to heal, heal up. Well, maybe it's not fair, it's not like in all the games you've heard, there will be no instant healing, like pew pew pew, and you, have heal and you are healed. No, there will be no such things. So, well, sorry, life is feudal. Will there be guilds and then alliances as well? As I said uh, earlier, and there will be country and then kingdom, and that can be as an al alliance. How big will the world be at Alpha? Will it expand on bed or release? As I said, it's 21 or 21 kilometers and that world will be in Alpha and that will be in beta and in release. Well, who knows, maybe if things go better in release we're gonna paint a new bigger map. We have, oh, 
we need only to paint it and the rest like forests are generated uh, substances underground substances are generated and we just need several instances uh, to run those uh, parts of terrain which is not really that hard and well, we can always make uh, a new servers a new lands easily uh, accessible but just again keep in mind it's only 10 of us and just <laughs> yeah and just uh, will be very hard for us How long will it take to cross the map? <laughs> I haven't measured, measured that. And keep in mind that there will be a dense forest and um, uh, mountains and different other obstacles. So, so it might take you a longer time. Well, when I was running around uh, in more dense uh, parts of our land, well, I actually got lost in the dense forest because you don't see sky you don't see mountains or some landmarks and you get lost pretty much soon enough so it's really hard to say how long how fast you will be able to cross that continent but maybe a few hours for sure maybe more will there be music of course there will be music <laughs> I probably missed it, but if you are in your claimed land, uh, you can be attacked. Uh, no, you can't be attacked actually. Uh, but if you are in your claimed land, it's in your interest to build a fence and gates and just to get in, the, in that land uh, and close the gate between, uh, before your attacker. So, and he will not be able to do anything with those gates or walls and will have just to go away or camp you or whatever he likes but if you manage to let him into your claimed area and fail to stop him he will be able to kill you yes sorry life is feud <laughs> my method of pvp is scream and run <laughs> that's a cool method really oh by the way there will be um, oh, for such cases there will be uh, war cries um, skills uh, and actually uh, some of the war cries will uh, create some positive effects on you or some negative effects on your enemies so maybe your tactics of screaming and running will be quite <laughs> good who knows <laughs> Uh, a lot of older four players are looking for something good to play. One major, one major concern from my guild regarding the game is competitive PvP. Is the high ceiling in PvP something you focus on? Well, mm, as you have heard, it's full loot, it's a full um, political system. Uh, <laughs> your pixels can be destroyed during sieges and battles. So of course there will be a lot of PvP, but uh, we rather aim for massive PvP uh, rather than um, in some solo PvPs uh, or duels or something. Well, they are all going to be possible, but most of our features, like as I've said, to formation system, and formation orders, and battle system as each are planned for massive PvPs. But as I said, you can always run around alone and gank some someone if you're not, not afraid to lose your alignment and to lose your skills during that. But, well, yes, PvP is mostly, uh, well, uh, aside from building stuff, terraforming and farming and living peacefully, uh, well, uh, other ways of combat action is just uh, some animal engagements and PvP. Uh, it says poison effects there. Will there be poison? Uh, is it made with alchemy? Of course it is made with alchemy and we plan to uh, be able to make poisons uh, and so which will be 
uh, you will be able to use on some uh, blade weapons to, to deal additional damage or maybe to lower some stats or whatever we're gonna have some negative effects well i can well if i gonna crash again it's gonna be a fault of that guy who had asked about alchemy system let me do something mm -hmm. okay now i have all possible <laughs> alchemy ingredients and there should be a mortar and Pestel somewhere. What a mess. Mm. Let me add it better. Okay. So that's uh, another tricky part about our alchemy system. Uh, yeah, I created a lot of ingredients. So it's uh, emerge. well, it's like well, maybe in Oblivion or in some Elder Scrolls system. So you just get one ingredient, you get another ingredient, you get one more ingredient and you try to mix them. Boom, wow. Lucky me, I have found two uh, effects, so that uh, that leaf uh, gonna restore my soft HP, uh, but he have a side effect that uh, it lowers my uh, max soft HP. Uh, that leaf I know only side effects that it lowers my max uh, soft HP, and that leaf means that I it will restore my soft HP. So resulted potion is. Uh, what a mess. Mm -hmm. There must be potions somewhere here. If anyone can point me, I will be thankful. <laughs> if you can see any potions somewhere, tell me please. It should appear somewhere here. Okay, it's a total mess. <laughs> I failed to find it. Uh, okay. So uh, uh, it's pretty much work like in Elder, Elder Scrolls. So if you get the two ingredients with the same effects, you're gonna unlock that effect. But a huge but, uh, every character uh, that is created in our game, we generate a unique uh, hash for that character. That means uh, that uh, if I, for instance, that leaves, uh, give me a restore soft HP. If I gonna give that uh, leaf to someone else, he gonna see different effects, and uh, that means for all players in game, they must have to find their alchemy recipes themselves. It will be not possible to find all the recipes, type them in Wikipedia or in forums, so every uh, schoolboy will be able to open Wikipedia and puff his super alchemists. He just need to marker his alchemy skill and now he's super alchemist because he know all recipes because they're uh, in uh, wiki uh, it's catalyst not catalyst okay well, keep in mind yeah in wikipedia uh, so uh, that's it uh, uh, and that's our point uh, so alchemist will be actually should be actually a clever person who combined all of the variants and he knows uh, how to do uh, the most best uh, potion without side effects or with minimal side, side effects and there will be no way to help yourself with some wikipedia or ask your friend or everything you will have to do all yourself that's something new i haven't heard about it in other games that that's one of our innovations But, but, again, uh, effects, uh, I mean, I'm talking about effects of ingredients and catalysts, but resulting potion, it's, it's, uh, it's just a potion and it will be the same for all of you. 
So of course you will be able to create a lot of potions and then just sell them and their effects will be the same for all the players. It's only about ingredients. Uh, are there some silly potions, like something that makes you see white elephants? <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe we will need some side effects on some of our ingredients that will make... Well, but let's say it's gonna be pink elephants, not white elephants. I don't like the idea of white elephants. Uh, are you able to display some combat? No, I said not right now. Not now. Uh, now I can see Moto. Well, uh, right now I can can't see uh, much questions. It's uh, like more <laughs> emotions. Maybe I have missed something. I probably had missed something. Ah, okay, I see. We'll be hiding stealth in. Or I have to use environment as cover to get sneaky. There will be no hiding or stealth. Your model won't disappear suddenly for no apparent reason. Uh, there will be absolutely no stuff like that. Uh, also, unfortunately, there will there is no crouch uh, in our game. Uh, but aside from that, yes, you can always uh, hide behind uh, trees or behind bushes or behind walls and just of course it will be uh, if you you will be behind some obstacle other players won't be able to see you because there are no floating names uh, hp bars or anything to get known about uh, other player you will have to target it with your reticle whatever it's called that's pretty much like that yeah for some reason all my Buildings have degraded. It's a streaming bug. Can you show any attacks or abilities? Not ability. Well, well, actually, we are running a circus right now. I believe you'd better take a look on our YouTube recording later and just it's gonna be appropriate because showing everything to all the same time it's not good thing uh, will there be some magic stuff or say you own a store and control price and if you get quart to protect it from griefing and such as I said earlier, there will be no NPC guards, maybe player guards, but you will be able to construct a um, trading post, and trading posts will act as uh, trading hubs. You will be able to use the trading post uh, to, well, actually, uh, to, f to browse goods in all other trading posts around the world to compare prices and to place your own goods uh, on sale. Or maybe even buy uh, goods so that someone else uh, had placed uh, for selling in that uh, trade post. So pretty much like an EVE Online uh, stations, but in our case you can build those stations and price, uh, prices are absolutely player driven. Uh, there will be no... Well, there will be a trading post in certain cities that will be used mainly for... Um, infusion of uh, gold uh, into well to avoid barter so you will be able to sell some crafting tools or maybe uh, items uh, to the server to get some gold uh, that you can use later for, for your trades well, it will be something like that but most of the trades should be completed between players yes there will be no NPC vendors that you can put in your house but as I said uh, uh, you can build uh, under the architecture, trading post. It's quite big uh, structure, but it will be possible to place it uh, in your personal claim if you want to. And here's the trading post. And you can use um, as a trading hub. Uh, can the get there? How is the lady model? 
she's ugly. <laughs> well, as I said, uh, it's a hardcore game. There will be no armored bikinis so armored strings uh, and well, well, just lady, just woman. Maybe not that medieval, but nothing that much fancy. And well, I, I'm not able to show it right now. What is the objective with this game? Are you producing to make a profit? Uh, nothing personal was that, or for personal fulfillment? Well, to answer that question, it's almost 2 a.m. in the morning, Saturday morning. Uh, well, <laughs> my, my wife and small uh, kid is waiting, f still waiting for me, but I'm quite sure they're uh, asleep already. Uh, so you can imagine that. Well, I care for that game. I still, well, it's all my idea, and I had started that to get, getting a team for that game from only from my idea on one of game developer sites. And of course, I care for that game, and mostly maybe for personal fulfillment. But as you know, we had to, well, in order to make a full time development, uh, we had to find some local investor here in Russia, and well, in some case. Well, we owe our nuts to him, so our game should be profitable. When well, we cannot reach money for uh, all the time, and well, of course we'll have to make some profits to uh, to play for server rents, to keep on development, to implement new features. Just that's it. Uh, please tell us more about the gold system. How does one get gold in the first place? Well, first of all, it can be extremely lucky and find gold um, in the mountains golden ore or gold you will be able to smelt it uh, and well that will be your source of gold but that means you're quite lucky and uh, it will be occasional uh, well rare moment but the most stable income of gold is when you are going to sell uh, your crafting results to the server and uh, it will uh, give you gold uh, that you can uh, later use for well, maybe buying stuff from the server, some other crafting uh, tools, or maybe using to uh, buy something from other players. As I said, uh, uh, since everything is 100% player crafted, uh, but server will be uh, just the same uh, p person as you and will be able to buy and sell uh, what he had just bought and uh, we're gonna make it so gold will be uh, well so that will be a source of gold for you just to use somewhere else will there be banks oh uh, well you build a chest on your personal claim and that is your bank but of course there will be um, storage uh, in the central npc city uh, and there will be uh, and you will be able to use it uh, it's just gonna be your invulnerable bank and uh, you will be uh, your guild so maybe yourself you will be able to build um, uh, warehouses uh, that can act like a uh, huge well what it is no it's not here it is masonry construction construct no it must be in masonry oh, come on i'm really sleepy now yeah large warehouse wow it's really large <laughs> yeah yeah that's how your bank gonna be used and you will be able to use it as a wall building and store your stuff in it oh no it doesn't work okay oh please show us the biggest building you can spawn okay you asked for it <laughs> Yeah, that's the biggest building you can spawn. Uh, I doubt I will be able to find some place for it somewhere here. It's called Lodge Keep or Palace. Oh, 
it have a lot of rooms and oh let me find some oh well, let me build it uh, where well right now I'm in the certain uh, central part of our uh, lens uh, because I'm running a local simulation uh, well, everything just compiled on my PC no, there are no uh, central city you can see there are no buildings but you have seen screenshots and well uh, on our servers uh, there are servers that are already already um, built up fully built up in PC uh, central PC city and I gonna place uh, that large keep uh, the, the same place where it was wh where it is placed oh yeah where it is placed in our NPC city yeah here you go like mm -hmm. hold on let me get inside well it's not that decorated or anything because we planned to have uh, as I said wow <laughs> interesting bug <laughs> yeah it disappears somehow wow okay we're gonna check it out later what's going on with it okay so uh, you will be uh, hope you will be able to use furniture later and decorate it and well maybe shoot your enemies with arrows uh, which i cannot show right now but trust me you will be able to do that hmm, how i get up there There is a hidden downway. Oh yes, yeah, there it's, it's a tower. Well, let's go. Uh, another question now uh, what is the maximum death and hate of the game is there a bedrock type block as in minecraft i don't know what is bedrock type block but uh, um well m minimum uh, hate uh, uh well minimum altitude is a water level because as soon as you use uh, well even if you're building a tunnel whenever you get to the water level you will see a water and as soon as you are floating in the water you won't be able to do anything and the highest ground level i believe it's something like 10,000 kilometers or something like that it just <laughs> there are even oh, hard to imagine it in real life um, so something like that uh okay what else uh, undestructible block oh now i see uh, no, there are no undestructible blocks. Uh, there will be some cells or some blocks might be blocked by something like with a growing tree or maybe with uh, with some building or with someone's personal claim. But other than that, you can dig everything and everywhere. There is a um, granite substances, marble substances that will be quite hard to dig. Uh, and they will be needed for building such buildings as I have built uh, for complex buildings but other than that you can dig everything there are, there are no un undiggable uh, substances in our game well there are uh, substances that you cannot dig uh, it is sand because it will well you cannot dig something in sand because it's just uh, gonna flow uh, in you cannot make a tunnel in the sand so you cannot make a tunnel in gravel uh, in fragmented uh, parts uh, and so on and so on um, but you can lower its level and pull it up very impressive castle can you give us an indication of how much resource it would take to build <sighs> i don't remember well trust me a lot of <laughs> that's it uh, i just gonna delete it right now and build a new one so we can uh, oh i can build it here. Okay. 
architecture is building large keep build build okay yeah it's like eight thousand pieces of shaped granite two thousand boards eight hundred marble plates shitload of mortar and uh, 60 door models well door models will requ request uh, blacksmithing mortar will request some uh, of alchemy and construction materials preparation uh, marble and granite will actually uh, force you to find those uh, rare substances and to shape uh, and well to mine them out and 2000 boards it's like a, <laughs> a huge forest you need to cut down to <laughs> to uh, gather those uh, good question is it possible that we run out of all metals uh, well it is possible uh, resources does not spawn in our game uh, and yes some day you it will it is possible that every so every ore resources will be depleted of course you can replant forests you can there are a lot of clay in the world and everything but yes metals can be depleted but well we just make a lot of them uh, you know it's like in the real life world uh, humanity are using uh, iron for like 3000 years or something and it still exists in our core because like 25% of our uh, of earth's core consists of iron so pretty much the same story is in our game uh, you you're gonna have uh, it's gonna be a lot of uh, underground uh, iron nodes uh, and I, well I, when I, when I'm s talking about node I'm, I mean mother <laughs> lo load oh, is it load I mean uh, it's vein vein it's ore vein it's not like typical nodes you have seen in World of Warcraft when you're running around and bam you see a strange rock in the middle of Norway you just pim 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 mine it out and poof it disappeared okay you just get five ores it will be impossible <laughs> now again there will be no such thing you will get ores uh, in tunnels in your mines uh, while getting it with your hard labor moving it outside uh, to your uh, furnace placing it in furnaces in bloomeries uh, to smelt it and later to no let's build it and, and later to use it in your crafting yeah that's a cozy hmm. strange okay <laughs> oh, what else? Well, right now uh, I believe it should be more than enough for <laughs> for first update. Uh, if there are really some more questions you want to ask, feel free. I'm okay to answer for like two or three of them but as i said it's 2 a.m and i really would like to go home if you permit <laughs> well thank you for kind words i believe that's enough for today and strangely i am not crashing out i am just <laughs> going to stop that <laughs> stream normally by, by pressing a stop uh, button uh, well good luck have fun and remember life is feudal bobby is out see ya